Hello, I'm Ian Morris, and this is the Live Scribe Echo, an 8 gigabyte smart pen that records not only audio, but also what you're writing on this specially coded piece of paper. The idea is that for a businessman or for someone who's a student, um, the, you write notes uh, while you're in a meeting or a lecture, uh, the pen keeps track of what you're writing, um, but also records your lecture, so you can write uh, on the paper, you can write you know, pointers towards what you're hearing, uh, and then later on when you're at home trying to remember what was said, you can play back the meeting in its entirety, but tapping the pen anywhere on the page will forward the recording onto the point at which it was recording when you made that note, which is incredibly clever and, a, and a, an invaluable memory jogger. Um, everything to do with a pen is controlled from these pads. You get one provided. Um, and there are more available to buy. You can also print your own uh, via their desktop software. But there was controls printed here. So for entering the menu, there's this quite simple structure here that enables you to go through the, uh, the, the, the pen's menu system. This enables you to adjust settings. You can uh, set this pen up to be right or left-handed. You can replay earlier meetings. Um, there's a piano, which is almost completely useless. There's a translator that we'll talk about a bit later. Um, but everything is done from this clever um, coded paper which has uh, a series of dots which are unique to each pad. There are about five pads in each series um, and the pen can remember each of the pads um, and then you, you only need to take those uh, the, what you've recorded off when you start a new pad. Um, there's, a, there's a more professional reporter notebook as well which we quite like. That's a, an option but it's, uh, it's quite nice and it has all the same functions and if you look at the front page of the paper here uh, there's a calculator, so I can um, I can tap on these keys, um, and I can so I can add two to two, two um, and we'll probably get the surprising result of four, uh, which is rather good. There's also these status buttons. So if you want to know how much battery there is left, you tap the battery indicator, which it shows you, it tells you how much storage there is, in the software version, everything like that. The menus, as I said, are controlled from that thing, and there's a there's a there's an audio volume system as well. Um, and of course you can adjust the brightness and, uh, as I said, the, the, the orientation. Um, if you're interested in the, uh, the rather cunning translation demo, um, I'll just scroll through to that. There's not very much in terms of support for languages at the moment. There is an app store which enables you to uh, buy apps. There is, um, there is an option for you to pay $30 US for something that can turn your handwritten text into computer, you know, digital text. Um, and there's also apps that have common uh, translation. So if you were abroad, you could write down where's the nearest hotel and the pen would do it. They're not entirely comprehensive, but for Spanish, I should be able to just uh, type... Write a word. Um, hello. And then it should... There you go. Translate it for you and it speaks it. Uh, so you should be able to also I happen to know for a fact that they can, uh, they've programmed in beer which is invariable.